Welcome to my channel. This is today's episode of Daily News Clips. But before I get to that, I have to thank you for my channel. The growth of it is unbelievable. The community that is being built is unbelievable. The sweetness and the love of the people that are coming to my channel is amazing. And it's you that's doing it, so I have to thank you. Thank you very, very much. My first article today is entitled, This is Scary. And it is a discussion of, <coughs> excuse me, a new law that's been passed in Scotland. The Hate Crime and Public Order Act of 2021 creates a new crime for, quote, stirring up hatred, including related to trans identity. People can be arrested for things they say in the privacy of their own home. They can be arrested for simply being insulting. And prosecutors need only prove your stirring up hatred was likely not intended. You might think this all has nothing to do with you. You don't live in Scotland. But it has everything to do with you. What you say online could be held as criminal hate speech in Scotland simply by somebody reading it there. <coughs> EU officials are putting in place a sweeping online censorship system that far exceeds in power and scope anything attempted under communism or fascism. And last week, European political leaders weaponized their intelligence and security agencies in order to smear everyone from German farmers to conservative politicians as Russia linked. We've talked about this before. It's the, the, the thing that disturbs me more than anything about this is it seems to be worldwide. It's not just in one place. It's happening everywhere. And it, it's almost as if it's coordinated. And that is worrisome because that means that there are powers greater than an individual country that are involved in this. And so it's a tremendous war that we fight. <coughs> the second item I have is Biden, ra Biden raises alarm bells with his outright lie about the pro-transgender Easter proclamation. He actually said he didn't do it. You can read about it in this article. It's unbelievable. He said, I didn't do that. Well, I don't know why you're accusing me of that. <laughs> oh. And then I have this from Cheryl Atkinson. Cheryl is an independent journalist. She used to work for CBS. And when she wasn't allowed to report what she wanted to report, she went out on her own. So this is Cheryl's article. $236 billion in federal tax money lost or wasted last year. But that's not the worst of it. Wait till you hear this. For fiscal year 2023, 14 agencies reported a total estimated $236 billion in improper payments across 71 programs, said a March 26th GAO report. Improper payments refer to payments that should not have been made or were made in the incorrect amount. Isn't it interesting that they always err on the side of being over? They never pay out less than they're supposed to. The $236 billion calculation does not include certain government programs that agencies determined were susceptible to significant improper payments. As such, GAO believes the $236 billion estimate potentially does not represent the full extent of improper payments. <coughs> and then there's this at the bottom of the article. Cheryl Atkinson Com note, according to GAO, as large as the amount of squandered funds is, it doesn't include the Department of Health and Human Services, temporary assistance for needy families, a program that is susceptible to significant improper payments. We discovered this issue in a prior report. So it's more than $236 billion. <clears throat> It's amazing how the United States can waste 
as much money as some countries have to spend. It's just astounding. It, it's really... Well, that's what you get when you get big government. Now I have one thing I just inserted at the last minute because I thought it was interesting. The title is, On the View, A Crack Finally Shows in the Propaganda Facade. This is on Racket, and I'll give you the, the uh, link. But <clears throat> if you're not familiar with Coleman Hughes, Coleman Hughes is a young black intellectual who uh, writes and appears on TV. And he is, uh, I've watched some of his podcasts. He has a podcast of his own. And he is a very thoughtful and um, thinking type of person who is constantly thinking about the impact of things that some people don't want to think about. And he wrote a book about racism and how uh, our policies should not be based upon race. And, <coughs> excuse me, he was invited on The View to defend his views with all those liberal women. And they attacked him and they were pretty insulting. You'll see there's a YouTube video linked in this article that you can watch. But uh, he, he did a pretty good job of standing his own and arguing that we should base our policies, government policies that are assisting families, should be based upon their socioeconomic level and not on their race. And right now it's based on race. And so what happens is we miss a lot of people that could be helped. So I thought that was interesting in the light of the next thing that I have to share with you, which I'm not going to put up on the screen, but it's a PragerU video called The Whiteness of Wokeness. And it's a very interesting five minute video that talks about how, and this is something I've noticed many times and, and strikes me as really rather odd, is that the people that are promoting wokeness and are promoting racial policies and are promoting all this stuff having to do with minorities are almost always white liberals. The minorities aren't asking for this stuff. The white liberals are shoving it down their throats. And in my opinion, it's very condescending. But you can watch the video and decide for yourself what you think of it. So that's the news for today. <clears throat> Again, I thank you for coming to my channel, and I pray for you every day that you will have an abundant life, that you will live a long time, and that you'll be healthy, and that God will keep you safe from harm. I pray that he'll do the same for every person that you love, and I pray most of all that you will be anxious for nothing, but in all things, through prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, you will make your requests known to God, and the peace that passes all understanding will keep your heart and mind in Christ Jesus. This is the Vietnam era vet out.